In this video, we're going to talk about what is listerosis and the symptoms associated with it. I got motivation to make this video because of the current listerosis outbreak currently happening in the Republic of South Africa, my home country. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I make videos like this one, explaining medical topics in a language both medical and non-medical people can understand. Now that you are done with that, let's get started with the video. In this video, I'll go over the following. 1. What is listerosis? 2. Which people are at highest risk of getting listerosis? 3. What causes listerosis? 4. What are the symptoms associated with it? 5. How is it diagnosed? 6. How is it treated? And seven, which is the final topic, how it can be prevented. Listerosis is a bacterial food poisoning caused by eating food contaminated by Listeria monocytogen bacteria. In pregnant women, the infection can result in miscarriage, premature delivery, stillborn, or serous infection of the newborn. Pregnant women, newborn babies, the elderly, adults with impaired immune system, which include the following list of people. People with HIV and AIDS, people with diabetes mellitus, aka sugar diabetes, and people taking immunosuppressants such as prednisone, aka glucocorticoids, for treatment of rheumatoid diseases or organ transplant recipients and other group of people with rare genetic diseases that affect the immune system. Healthy adults and children with normal functioning immune system sometimes get infected, but rarely get seriously ill from the infection. Listeria monocytogen bacterium is naturally found in soil and water. It is a gram-positive rot that is non-spore forming, which shows a narrow beta hemolytic zone on lab test. As you can see here from my very detailed notes, one of its special abilities is that it can survive and grow in very cold, even freezing conditions. Freezing does not actually kill it. This is one of its identifying markers in laboratory tests. There is no vaccination against Listeria monocytogen bacterium. Eating vegetables contaminated by bacteria from the soil. Animals such as red can also carry the bacterium which they got contaminated from the soil and transfer the bacteria to food such as meat and dairy product. Additionally, processed food such as soft cheese aka melrose and ready to eat meats such as paloni and sausages contaminated after processing possibly by rats or soil contamination or any other form of contamination unpasteurized milk aka raw milk and food made from raw milk so to be safe don't eat raw milk without boiling it fever muscle ache watery diarrhea, nausea. If the nervous system is infected, additional symptoms such as headache, stiff neck, confusion, loss of balance, and convulsions can occur. But in pregnant women, most of them experience mild flu-like symptoms which are misleading and result in most pregnant women not being aware they actually have listerosis while the bacteria passes to the unborn infant and causes a severe infection of the unborn infant, which can result in miscarriage or other severe complications of pregnancy. This is what makes this disease very, very, very dangerous. Before going any further, let's recap in three quick points. 
One, listeriosis is a form of bacterial food poisoning. Two, it is of great concern in pregnant women and people that are immunosuppressed. Three, it is caused by listeria monocytogen bacterium. Now that we have recapped, let's continue to how it is diagnosed. Listeriosis is diagnosed based on a positive medical history and physical exam. A confirmatory blood test or cerebrospinal fluid culture can be done if the doctor doubts the diagnosis of listeriosis. But during events of an outbreak such as the one happening in South Africa currently, a confirmatory test is not necessary once the doctor has seen a positive physical exam and clinical history. In an otherwise healthy person which is not pregnant, treatment of listerosis is just supportive such as uh, rehydration if the diarrhea is severe. But in pregnant women and immunosuppressed people, a prompt multi-track antibiotic regime is necessary to eradicate and stop the progression of the bacteria. Luckily, pregnant women, if treated early, their infants don't show any long-term effects of having listerosis. Before going through the last topic and ending the video, I would like to recap again. One, listerosis is a form of bacterial food poisoning. Two, it mainly affects pregnant women and immunosuppressed people. Three, it is caused by listeria monocytogen bacterium. Four, it is diagnosed via physical exam and positive clinical history and blood test. Five, it is treated by antibiotics on pregnant women and immunosuppressed people. A list showing all recommendations made to avoid getting listerosis goes beyond the scope of this video. But for the purpose of this video, I'll provide a very brief list of easy things you can do to avoid getting listerosis. Of course, in the description of this video, I'll provide a link showing all the recommendations made by the United States Center of Disease Control and Prevention. In the screen, I'll also show a screen record showing all the showing the same list which its link is in the description the few things i'll mention include the following shopping safely which means uh, while shopping not mixing up product so as if one product is contaminated it does not contaminate other product and going home quickly as soon as buying products and not carrying them around thus decreasing the probability of them getting infected Secondly, preparing food uh, safely, which involves washing hands while preparing food and making sure all the food you are about to prepare, especially vegetables and other uh, food at high risk of being contaminated, are washed properly and your hands are also washed. And storing the food properly, which means storing them at extremely low temperatures to decrease the probability of the bacteria uh, infecting them. And then the last one I'll mention is cooking food safely which involves cooking food not in the slow cooker but in boiling water which reaches a temperature of at least 60 degrees celsius and others as you can see there from the screen you can read and if you want to a full list you can read in the description the link is in the description with that said ladies and gentlemen i hope you found this video informative and if you are new here i would like to repeat again please consider subscribing i make videos like this where I explain medical concept in a language in which both medical and non-medical people can understand. And if you made it this far in the video, please comment, birds don't fly, they get high, so I know you made it this far in the video. My name is Paki and this is Everything Medicine. Thank you.